Well, praise the Lord, everybody. I'm out for my uh, little walk. I am in Knoxville, Tennessee at a truck stop. <laughs> so I'm out for my little walk this morning. Uh, couldn't sleep very well. It's really cold out here at night and uh, we turned the truck off, you know, and uh, slept with it, but it was kind of cold, uh, but that's okay. Anyway, kept waking up, spent a lot of time talking to the Lord. It seemed like I'm not sleeping very well on the truck, so it gives me time with the Lord. Hey, I'm not complaining. Anytime I get with the Lord is a very good time. So it gives me a chance to pray for everybody and uh, let the Lord minister to me. All right. Well, praise the Lord. Well, anyway, I don't think I got any words of wisdom right now, but we'll see as I'm walking along here. Uh, I just thank God for this time out here with my son uh, on the road, see what truck drivers do. <laughs> uh, they do a lot of waiting, I can tell you that. But anyway, well, I, you know what? I learned about the truck stops, though. You know, a good thing, these truck stops, they have uh, these showers. It's like your own little personal bathroom. You know, you got toilet, sink, and shower in it. So you can take a shower, you know. And uh, I'll tell you what, I appreciate that. <laughs> I really appreciate that. But uh, enjoying myself today, I'm going to go and uh, wash some clothes. I've been out here about a week. I only brought like a week's worth of clothes, so I have to wash every week, which is okay. I mean, it's fine. Uh, but anyway, praise the Lord. I tell you, I want to give God all the glory and praise. I'm thinking of each one of you, you know, that the Lord will bless you, keep you, and strengthen you, and his face to shine upon you. I'm telling you, anytime you get to spend with the Lord, spend that time with the Lord and uh, and just enjoy, enjoy his presence. I'm telling you, I know he enjoys yours. And uh, so just take the time and enjoy the Lord. Well, praise the Lord. Uh, let me see, I'm walking around. This place over here in Knoxville, Tennessee, is I guess it's the mountain area. Cause there's a lot of mountains here and uh so i assume i'm gonna have to look it up on the map i'm assuming it is mountain area blue hills blue something i don't know whatever they call it but anyway praise the lord oh man you know i'm, I'm gonna head on back on what i'm gonna do well, once i make this big long walk around do some studying today. Uh, I'm actually going through my uh, new members book. I'm going through it, making sure I write notes and take down everything. So when we gain some new members, that's what I'm going to be teaching in the class. Yeah, it's my prayer that we will grow, you know, pretty quickly. And um, got some things for the people. One thing they are going to learn, they're going to learn the Word of God. Uh, I'm not a pastor who uh, teaches a lot of fluff. Uh, I guess you could call it. I don't teach uh, fluff and everything like that. You're going to learn the Word of God with me. Uh, so that's, I'm a teacher. That's what I am. I am a teacher. So, uh, you would have to get your pencil and paper and get down to the nitty gritty. All right. Well, praise the Lord. Uh, but hopefully next month we'll be starting uh, the church pretty soon. And uh, just stay tuned and let you know. All of you who are following us on uh, YouTube and Facebook, I want to say I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for the uh, support. Thank y'all for the likes and all those things. And I really hope that you are receiving something from the Lord. You know, please take time uh, and uh, write a comment. Let me know 
how the message is blessing you or it's not blessing you. I mean, don't worry about hurting my feelings, you know. Uh, but, you know, let us know, you know, how the Lord is blessing you. And that's some encouragement to me, you know. It's nice to hear what is going on in people's lives and how they are receiving from the Lord. It's not to pump me up or, you know, anything like that. My main goal is that you know the Lord. That's my goal. My goal is that you know the Lord and that you are growing in the Lord. So if those two things are happening, then I am excited for you. I would like to know about your growth. So please contact us, contact me, let me know, uh, you know, what God is doing for you. And you can get in touch with me at Healing Word Church. Healing Word Church, one word, dot I-L-T-F-C at gmail.com. Healing Word Church, dot I-F-T, wait a minute, I'm going to get it wrong now. I, uh, I-L-T-F-C, there you go. Ooh. My goodness, dot gmail.com. All right, so, or you go to our website, www.healingwordchurch.org, and they got places on there where you can leave comments, and all you got to do is just leave a comment. But, but let me know, you know, what God is doing for you, how this ministry is blessing you, how can we encourage you, Send your prayer request. You know, send your prayer request so we can pray for you. We love to pray for you, you know. Or if you have some deliverance issues, you know, let us know so we can help you with those deliverance issues. Woo, y'all getting out of breath a little bit. Because everything's kind of uphill. <laughs> I, I know, I know. Y'all don't have to tell me. I need to work out a little bit more. You're right. You're right. Uh, but uh, praise the Lord. Oh, they even got here. So I'm going to turn it around. I thought that was pretty neat. They got a truck, truck, truck chapel. So uh, some of these... Uh, Truck drivers can, you know, spend time with the Lord. That's a very important thing. I mean, I can see that there's probably a couple of different ministries that can happen to truckers, you know, because most of the time they are on the road. They are, uh, you know, they don't have a, a schedule, especially long haul truckers. These ones I'm out here with, they don't have no schedule, but they need a place where they can serve God. Or a podcast, or my son listens to a lot of podcasts, YouTube videos, or something towards truckers. I mean, I think that's a wonderful ministry. You know, we don't want to forget those that's out there uh, bringing our food and stuff across America. You know, don't let them be forgotten. You know, because they need to hear the word of God too. You know, they got to work, and a lot of times on Sunday. They got to pull them, them trucks on Sunday and, uh, you know, to, to meet their deadlines and stuff. But, you know, they still need to hear a word from the Lord. Amen. So keep them in your prayers, people. You know, keep these truck drivers in your prayers. There's probably a lot of them has never had nobody pray for them. So, you know, keep them in your prayers. And, and lift them up, you know, when you take time and pray. Because they're going over these dangerous highways. And uh, they still need the Lord. They still need salvation. You know, you got to pray that a door will open. And that they will uh, receive salvation. That they'll hear a word or somebody will go by and minister to them. And, uh so that they can know the Lord, man. I mean, that's what Jesus said. He said, go out into all the world 
and preach the gospel. That's everywhere. That's in truck, 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 truck stops, strip joints. Out here in Kentucky, I see a whole lot of adult bookstores and stuff. A lot of them out here. A lot of signs. You know, but these people still need to be ministered to. You know, they, all of them need to hear, have a chance to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. And one thing I have learned is that you don't know what they have prayed to the Father about. They may have prayed, Lord, I would like to learn about you. Could you send somebody my way? And the Lord may have spoken to you, say, stop and talk to that person. And because you had some fear and stuff, you say, oh, no, I ain't going to do that. That's just me talking. You know, but the Lord might have wanted you to minister to that person. He might have wanted to use you to bring that gospel. Woo! I'm telling you, that's a wonderful thing when the Lord activates you and uses you. You know, so, so praise the Lord, people. I'm telling you, praise the Lord. I mean, there's a lot of ministry out here in this world. And I know one person can't do it all, but if we can come together, man, let me tell you, we can do some ministry, y'all. There's a lot of souls that need to be won. You know, we need to remove them from the kingdom of the devil and bring them into the kingdom of the light. Praise the Lord, I'm telling you. But anyway, I'm speaking about evangelism, y'all. We gotta go out there, talk to your neighbors, a lot of y'all live next door to people that you probably has never even said anything to or even spoken to. You might have waved and kept on going. But have you taken the time to try to get to know them so that you can speak into their life about Jesus? I mean, that's your mission field. Everybody has a mission field. And that mission field is your neighbor. It said, go to Jerusalem first, right? It, said, it didn't say go into all the other parts of the world. It said, go to Jerusalem first. Or in your neighborhood, your next door neighbor. You can have a mission to your cobra sack. You know, a mission to your cobra sack. A mission to your block. You know, be a missionary for the Lord and try to reach those souls for the Lord. I mean, it's just, like I say, it's just so much work to do. There's so many things to get accomplished, you know, that uh, it's going to take all of us. we got to get up off the couch, out of our comfort zone, and uh, try to reach people for the Lord. You can't just sit there. You just wait for them to come to you. You know, that's really not going to happen. You have to go to where they're at. And if you, look at the, if you look at the Bible, what did Jesus do? Jesus ain't just sit in Jerusalem and wait for everybody. No, he walked around. He walked around, and as he was walking, he was talking about the kingdom of God. So he was taking the gospel to them. That's what God gave you, two feet and one mouth. You know, so you could proclaim the gospel, and your feet can get you there. But we modern now. We got cars. We got cars and everything, you know. Shoot, go to the park. Man, it's just start walking around saying, God bless you. Try to talk to people about Jesus. I mean, while you're walking through the mall, spending your money, try to talk to people about Jesus. You know, wherever you run into it where there's a lot of people, tell them about Jesus Christ. You know, what you say might just change the life. It might not be no effect. Listen, it might not be no effect initially. You know, they might look at you and probably look at you like you're crazy and all this other stuff. But you know what? They're going to remember you taking the time and coming to them one day. One day they're going to remember back and say, I remember when somebody was trying to tell me about Jesus. And that might be the pivotal point that will change their life and where they'll really start seeking the Lord. You know, the Bible says, how can they hear, right? Except God, except God sends a preacher. You're the preacher. They can't hear it until you go and say something about the gospel. All right. Praise the Lord. My son down there jump roping. I'm telling you, uh, what I'm learning about truck drivers, 
you can either be a truck driver and gain a lot of weight and become unhealthy <coughs> or <coughs> excuse me when you are in your downtime or whenever you get break man do some exercise walk move your legs do things you know you got to stay active like i got to tell everybody just do jesus exercise and jesus exercise is just walking he walked that's what he did so you know we need to do the same thing is to get up and move our bodies be healthy especially if you're a preacher preachers you need to stay healthy you need to be the uh stay i always call it being at preaching weight so you can preach you know you ain't so exhausted and everything and falling out and tired and everything you can't give all your energy unto the lord i know this is another subject huh but you know we got to stay healthy so that we can do the work of the ministry and that's all christian we need to be healthy to do the work of the ministry it's kind of hard to do that if you all broke down you're all sickly you know you can't do anything you're so tired you're so overweight you have no energy and everything so you gotta control you know your eating and do some exercise move that body i'm telling you that's what i like lisa when she said her her video says move something move something you know get up and move something people move it walk you don't have to set no lofty goal or i'm going i'm going to lose uh, 50 pounds this week or something like that you know you ain't got to do all that just get up and move move let your heart muscles work you know stretch out your lungs a little bit your legs the muscles in your legs let the blood flow through your body get some of that plaque out of your veins i mean there's so many benefits with just walking just walking just getting out and walking uh so you can be a healthy christian and quit eating all that food too i'm telling you you can't eat and just sit y'all you cannot eat and just sit and that's what i've noticed a lot of these truck drivers i mean because they're driving uh, hours and hours at a time you know i think some of them have like 11 hour days uh, well, they just drive and they just drive and drive. You can't just sit. You'll become unhealthy. Get blood clots in your legs and stuff like that. You don't want to do that. You got to keep yourself flowing. Man, that is the law of the body, people. The law of the body. There's a law that God made for the body. It's a, it's a law that God made for the body. So you got to fulfill that law find out what that law is for the body and uh and then accomplish it right you can't overfeed overeat because when you overeat it makes you gain weight all right if you under eat you lose weight you know you don't exercise then your heart muscles get weak you know and when your heart muscles get weak you know you get tired when you start walking you get tired and stuff like that so you know you gotta you gotta exercise people let me walk back this way i'm gonna try to walk in the little shade and get kind of warm now but uh you gotta exercise I mean, god got so many things for us and we just gotta follow what he has set for us so that we'll be healthy all right and that's just physically like i said spiritually well you gotta spend time with the lord you got to spend time with the Lord. You got to, not only your physical health, you got to deal with your spiritual health. Spiritual health, you got to spend time with the Lord. You got to be spend time uh, in His presence, reading His Word. Get your spiritual muscles strong. You can't do that if you ain't spending no time with the Lord. I mean, if you all you're spending is when you get up in the morning, thank you, Lord, and then start your way. Or praying over your food you know your weak sauce your spiritual muscles are not very strong you know so you have got to spend some time you know with the Lord talking on his name reading his word meditating on his word 
You know, you got to spend time. Ask him questions. Let him give you answers. Don't do all the talking. Let him talk back to you. And he may pose some questions to you like, ooh, wait a minute, what? I didn't think about that. But anyway, praise the Lord. I didn't know what I was going to talk about today, but this is what I talked about, a whole 20 minutes of, of talking. <laughs> All right, well, I'm getting ready to uh, get my book. I need to find me a place in the cool area because we still got another 18, 19 hours to wait before we can go and uh, get my book and my workbook and do some studying for the Lord. All right, God bless each and every one of you. I hope what I said may have helped somebody. And please contact me. Contact me. All right. God bless. Bye-bye.